Well, as y'all can see, we're back in the 620. It's time to do a little bit of skidding. Y'all hang tight, here we go. you won't have to stop when you get down there where you're going you won't have to stop turn around everything else you'll be right there ready to go turned around you also want to make sure you bring your trash as far down here as you can all the way to the end of your access or you know wherever your last little skid row is
like to turn my four-wheel drive on running on this wood like this because you'll slip a little and just to make sure I don't stop forward progress I just lock the four-wheel drive and just before I get to the end of the down row here I'll, I'll undo it I want to make sure you have your booms. You can see how I had my, I pulled my booms all the way up to me. I mean, I pulled them, left them, uh, left them down a little bit. They're not, I mean, they're like three inches from maxed out. But you want to get those booms as close to you as possible. It keeps the nose of the machine planted down when you're skidding. If you go running, and the, especially in bottom booms, you go running them further back, it makes the machine do this weird, like, whoop motion over like that. Like that. And now speed him up. And I never 
ever turn back around the other way, I, I back down to my uh, down rows. And you figure it takes you, um, just say it takes you five seconds to, you know, turn the machine up in a down row, and then five seconds to spin the seat around. Jimmy, it ain't gonna take that. But just, just say in the process of going down here, you lose 10 seconds. And then you do 10 seconds on every drag, and you're gonna do somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, 40 drags a day, and you save 10 seconds on every drag, that equals, you know, a good chunk of time at the end of the day that was missed. Um, that's how I look at that kind of stuff. Thank you. 